hoping for a PR studies, PR after studies, and which course should I opt for if feasible? I'm confused between MBA and engineering course and mechanical and the PR process. The answer is simple. We have a larger requirement of technical people here in New Zealand than non-technical people. So that's a simple answer. But in your situation, because you have moved away from, uh, you know, core technical, you know, you're not a nuts and bolts guy any longer. You're more like me, you know, doing more of this rather than more of that. So, uh, so you've kind of moved away. But if you think, and but five years is not a very long time away, you know, five years is, you know, I, I don't know when is the last time. I went to uh, motorsports guys, by the way, and that's probably why it explains the t-shirt, but uh, so it's been uh, it's been five or six years for me as well since I last drove a rally car and did a bit of racing. But you know, it comes back, it comes back the moment you get back into the car and you strap on your helmet and you put on your, you know, uh, uh, you know your uh, suit and strap yourself into that uh, seat and you start your car, it all, kind of all comes back. Same thing for you. If your technical side of it will come back automatically and because you've had a very, very long stint um, in New Zealand, uh, sorry, uh, in the Air Force uh, and uh, as a, a mechanical guy. I think if it will come back to you, the technical side, I would strongly encourage you to seek a course in mechanical engineering because the, the ability, the opportunity of being able to find a technical job is so much higher and the competition also is lesser as compared to a non-technical job like let's say you want to get into HR or marketing or I think it will be a bigger fight in the non-technical area as compared to the technical area. So, in fact, recently, for instance, I mean, I, I would strongly encourage you to look at mechanical because one of the other things that is growing here in New Zealand is the flying schools, for instance, and and our industry, our air industry. I think uh, we also have one of the highest per capita number of uh, planes in the world, you know, aircraft in the world. So there is a scope for someone like you who is made you know gotten your hands dirty with grease and everything else working on aircraft i think if you get back into your technical i think you will do brilliantly well and also because you're a 47 year old guy um so you have tons of experience i think you will be valued in the industry if you can get if your uh, mind and your uh, you know can tells you that yeah i can get back into that without it but if your mind says no you know what you've moved away from it you will not be able to go back to the nuts and bolts kind of a thing then stick to a business course you know talk to my team and we'll put you into if not an mba we might put you into a good postgraduate diploma somewhere and something that matches your scope and your ability we work with a lot of very senior people like yourself but we definitely would love to work with you and my sincere suggestion would be to try and stay to your stick to your technical side of things if, we, if your mind says no you moved away you can't do it any longer i will look uh, we are happy to put some good business options in front of us.